Okay, this is uh, in regards to feeling angry towards my mom because of how she treated me when I was growing up as a child. I am thinking about having a conversation telling her what I needed as a child from her but wasn't receiving, which has now affected me as an adult. What do you think about this? Would this create even more tension and negativity or would it be the start of a healing process for both of us? Hmm. In the first place, it would show you very clearly the the defilements that you have. Um, and it shows you the wanting, that there is something that you want from your mother that you wanted then and that you still want now. And um, it is very, very good that you see this that you that you have the chance now to observe your your defilements as they arise um, if you talk with her or not is really not so important what is important is that you see that what has happened when you was a child is the past it is no more it has gone it is past. So now you see, I wanted this and that, and I didn't get it. And I'm angry. So note it and be happy, be grateful that you have the chance to learn this now. Um, and don't, don't get deeper into it. Just try to let go of it. Learn to let go of it. Your mother is not the one she was. I don't know what she did and it really doesn't matter because the point is that now is now, past is past and you create now the karma that you will have to deal with in future. So when you don't stop to be angry with her now you will be angry with her in future and the only cha chance to change it is to stop being angry with her now and you can do so by seeing very clearly what is going on in your mind and to do what Bhante Yutadamu said in regards to equanimity yeah that's just to put it into a kind of a, um, a, mo a more general s general uh, format, in general, going back to the past and worrying about what has happened in the past is is not recommended. Uh, not going back to the past is connecting who you are now with who you were in the past, and as Palanyani says the past is past and you were a different person then the point is that it reinforces the ego it reinforces the idea of I uh, and and you know the, the whole idea of needs as well but th the idea of having problems in the present based on the past I mean people who are victims of abuse will often fall into that kind of a uh, mentality and, and, and it, really a trap I had one meditator that I always bring up as an example when I was in Doi who uh, was abused as a child and she came to me and she was 40 she came to our meditation center she was 40 something but she looked like a ghost if you look at her her hair was in her face and just this horrified expression that, that she was like as though she was seeing a ghost she had been raped by her father when when she was young and now at 40 years old she was still dealing with it I mean I don't know how, how long ago it was but one assumes I, and actually I think I did, she did tell me later but the point I want to make is that I, it was clear that something was wrong clear that something was going on but I never asked her about it and I think this really puzzled her you know, the, 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 because her whole life the therapy that she'd always gone through again and again for this was to go into it and to become, you know, to, to, to somehow delve into 
these problems and to connect what's going on now with what, what, what was going on in the past. Um, and we don't do that, and I didn't do it with her, and, and as a result she, she started to, you know, at, at first it was like, well, don't you want to know why I'm crying? Don't you want to know what, what, what's wrong with me? Until eventually she realized, that, you know, based on the, the, the simple teachings that had nothing to do with any any problem in the past. And you know, I said, when you're crying, just say to yourself, crying, crying. Don't don't you know, don't worry about. Uh, it's not a problem that you're crying. It's, uh, there, there's nothing to be concerned about. Just say to yourself, crying, crying. And it, it totally changed her outlook on on the problem. She was able to. Uh, finally cope with what was the real problem and that's what's occurring right here and now that that really should have nothing to do with with the past the past has created where you are now for sure but now that's meaningless the pa what's in the past is gone and you know trying to um have people make amends for it or or to uh, you know, to, to cling to the idea that someone else has hurt you this is in the dhammapada the buddha was quite clear about it uh, he beat me, he robbed me, he akochi mang, ahasi mang, ajini mang, however it goes. Uh, he, he scolded me, he abused me, and so on. For a person who harbors these thoughts, suffering never ceases. Now, I know you're aware of this, and you don't want to be angry at her, but just to say that going back to the past only reaffirms the idea of self, of, of I and, and, and what I need. And so we don't do it. It's not part of our therapy. Our therapy is to deal with the here and the now and to learn to dissociate, stop making associations. It is what it is. Hence, the when you feel pain, to say to yourself, pain, do not think about why you feel pain or it's because of an accident or this or that. Um, when, when you feel anger, do not think about why you feel anger or even who you feel angry at. You're just feeling angry and to focus on the anger, to focus on the experience as it is. Because the whole point is to lose the object. When you say to yourself, angry, 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 you're, you're breaking the connection with the, other, with, with the object of your anger. This is, this is incredibly important. As long as there's the connection with the object, there's going to be uh, the object arises, thinking about the object arises, anger arises based on the thinking. Based on the anger, there's, m there's a re returning to the object thinking about what you can do to hurt them, thinking about what they've done to you and getting angry again. and it, It's a feedback loop. As long as you have the connection with the object, you're going to be creating more and more angry, anger every time you think about that object. When you say to yourself, angry, 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 y you change the habit in the mind that when anger arises, there's just anger. anger. It doesn't go back to the object thinking about you know, creating difficulties or problems. And so the anger, the point is the anger has no fuel. Once the anger has no fuel, it, it stays for a while. It might even stay quite strong based on the fuel that it already has from your past or from your habits. But eventually it disappears. The, the key to dealing with these things is to see them for what they are and, and, and nothing more. You may have uh, you know, intense states of anger or intense states of greed and that's not the mo the biggest problem. The biggest, th it's not the real problem. The real problem is when you follow after them. If you're able to be mindful, you know, wanting, wanting, or angry, angry, and and see them for what they are. Uh, the, the, you you see that they're really harmless. They're uh, the only thing that they're doing is bringing you more stress in the mind, and so you quickly do away with them. That's really how we 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 deal with these things. So just meant to uh, to sort of generalize what you'd already said